The reason a protected marine area is necessary off the coast of the Osa Peninsula of Costa Rica is that there are over 25 species of dolphins and whales that either live or migrate through the area. Here in Drake Bay, we have seen 17 of these species. We have the longest season of humpback whales in the world as we get migrations from both North America and South America, which occurs nowhere else in the world. Humpbacks migrating from two different hemispheres to have their babies and breed in the same place is reason alone to support our protected marine sanctuary initiative. There are small areas around Canyon Island and in front of Corcovado National Park that are protected, but there is no enforcement and fishermen basically do whatever they want in these areas. What we want to protect the area from is commercial fishing. We have longline boats, shrimp boats, and tuna boats that frequent the area. The longline boats, as the name suggests, put out a long line that can be from one mile up to 50 miles long. These long lines are baited every several feet with a hook and a piece of fish. What happens is that the sea turtles often take the bait and get stuck on the hook. If it is the type of line that is far underwater, the turtle cannot get to the surface and breathe and drowns. In the time that we have been collecting data, we have recorded an 80% decrease in the number of Olive Ridley sea turtles. That is a major decrease in a relatively short period of time. The longline boats are also dangerous for dolphins and whales because they can get seriously cut and injured by them, or worse, they get caught in the line and drown. We have seen many humpback whales with fishing gear attached to them, including this baby humpback that has a line embedded around his body. The shrimp boats are extremely destructive to the ocean and its inhabitants. As shrimp are bottom dwellers, the boats go along scraping the ocean floor, killing everything in its path, plant and animal alike. After the ocean floor is scraped like that, it does not grow back, it is dead forever. For every gallon of shrimp caught, five to ten gallons of other sea life has been killed. The biggest dolphin killer we have out here are the tuna boats. These boats are usually from other countries like Taiwan and Japan. They come complete with several speedboats and a helicopter to search out the dolphins. The reason they search for the dolphins is because yellowfin tuna take advantage of the dolphin's sonar and fish finding capabilities and tag along for the free food. This is very unfortunate for the dolphins as they are killed by the thousands by the tuna boats. Some pods of dolphins are netted up to three times in the same day. This could not be good for stress levels and reproduction, even if they are not getting killed in the nets. Now you can see why our proposed marine protected area off the Osa Peninsula is essential for this marine rich area to survive. Please support MPA for Osa and the further research necessary by signing our online petition and contributing to our funding campaigns. Go to mpaforosa.com for further details.